Hello there! Today is Thursday, March 18th, 2021. Welcome to my Osprey watching video. Oh, losing focus. Welcome to my Osprey watching video. Here we go. Yes, and here is the male Osprey right here. Okay, the male. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, because that one it doesn't have the markings, the necklace. Yeah, that's what we're always looking for is the necklace. And that one's all white, so. Got to be careful around that guy because he's a little timid. Yeah, he's a little timid as a female. I know it. It's okay, Osprey. I'm just watching you. That's all I'm doing, okay? It'll be okay. So there he is, there he is. And there's also, oh, there's also these Osprey also. Take a look at this. Wow, like look at her, wow. She looks very like chubby looking. I guess she's about ready to incubate, I guess. And I can hear her calling to her mate. Okay. So yeah, so that's that's the one that's calling over there. She's just making really short peeps. And then we have this osprey over here. Can start to see him. Is it him? Or is it her? Oh, it's her. Yeah, it is the it is the female. Hello, female osprey. Hello there. I like you. I really like you a lot. Yeah. You're my favorite osprey right there. My favorite one. Yeah, I really like you. Yes, I do. I really like you a lot. No, no. Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't go. Don't leave. Stay right there. Stay right there while I grab my tripod, okay? I want to film you with my tripod. Because that's what videographers do. They film with the tripod. Okay? So I'm going to... I'm going to go right up to the front here. Alright, Osprey. Alright, um, I might get a little bit closer, but that's about it. Hi, Osprey. Are you the one that'll let me get close? Are you the one? Let's try this again. Let's zoom in here. Okay, there you go. brownish um, chest plumage there. So you think I should try to get a little closer? Hi Osprey! Hello there! Nice to see you again. It's been a week since I've been here. How are you enjoying your new nest? You like it? Did your, did your husband do a good job at Creating that nest of yours? Hopefully he did. Wow, it's so windy out, isn't it? It is so windy. Wow. Wow, look at how windy it is out here. Wow. <laughs> Man, talk about a lot of wind. Dang. I need some sort of a wind filter for my camera because I know this wind must be coming through my mic really well. <laughs> but yeah, there she is. Right there. Lots of wind. 
Oh, there comes a couple vultures flying overhead. That's all right. You can keep going. So look at those orange eyes of hers. I know you see that she's looking elsewhere, but... You can see that she's kind of like has her wings sort of out a little bit, almost like she wants to fly out for something. Like it just seems like she's ready. Can't imagine why. Hey there, Osprey. Hey there. Good to see you here. Yeah, and that's as far as my optical zoom will get, by the way. So she's doing a lot of preening and a lot of looking. What does that mean? Hey there, female osprey. Hey there, yeah. I really like you a lot. You know I do. You know it. Yeah, I'm totally flirting with you. Yeah, I am. Wow. Wind, man. Man, this wind is intense. This is why you should always use a tripod on windy conditions. At least with the tripod, you're you're a little bit more stable with the camera. Oh man! Oh man! So she's having some difficulty keeping her balance. Oh man! Ooh, ooh look at that wind! Oh man! Oh man! Oh man! Oh, man. All right, how about I get a little closer to you? Not too much closer now, all right? I only moved like a few steps, honestly, really. I only moved a few steps closer to you. Okay. Okay, little baby steps now, okay? I'll take little baby steps. Is that fair? Will you let me get underneath you? Yes, no? Maybe? Possibly? Come on, Osprey. You're always my favorite one. You're the one. You're the one that's going to let me get close. I know it. or not? Hmm. Alright, let me stop the video way quick and go in slow motion mode just in case this Osprey does end up flying away. And then I'll be able to get some amazing slow-mo footage of the flying. So give me just a second. And although the quality is not going to look as great because I have to go at a lower resolution to get to the to get the higher frame rate, but hang on a second, okay?
Okay, this is gonna look great. Okay, alright, so far so good. Okay, here we go, alright. Oh, mm, 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 mm. That's good, okay. love close footage. Wow. She sure is a beauty. She is a beautiful, beautiful osprey. You know, I love you more than your mate loves you. I do. Seems hard to believe, huh? Ah, I love you, Osprey. I love you. I totally love you. You don't know how much I love you. You have no idea. Ah, so beautiful. I'm like almost underneath this osprey. I mean, I could literally get right underneath this osprey if I wanted to, but I know this osprey wants to look around and she doesn't want to look straight down at me because that's just a little awkward. I guess looking down isn't really a raptor-like thing to do, right? Well, I mean, raptors look down on things all the time, but... They don't look straight down. They look from a distance. I mean, the only thing I don't like is that she turns her head like almost straight up sometimes. So you can see how windy it is right now, which is great. Oh, so about Amazon. So I've actually been working six days a week since last week. And I'm anticipating that next week is probably going to be the same way. And I worked two days of overtime already. Like I was working from 5.45 a.m. until 6.00. Or sorry, the, sorry, I didn't mean to say a.m. I meant to say 5.45 p.m. until 6 a.m. Yeah, that's just a little more than 12 hours. And don't forget that I do have to drive an hour just to get to Amazon. So that actually takes two hours of driving time altogether. Yeah, being, yeah the Osprey is kind of looking down almost. I just think that's funny. If you want to go down there and get some branches, you can. I mean, it's up to you if you want to grab these branches right in front of me. You can if you want. So beautiful, so beautiful. Oh, goodness, that seagull's nest. Oh, that's a seagull's nest. That's oh. an osprey nest. Huh? That's an osprey nest. Oh, it is. Yeah. Like it's amazing how close she lets me get to her. <laughs> so the male, the male doesn't seem to let me get as close. The male's a little bit more timid, like when they're both together. Like I can usually get up to here is usually fine when the male's there, but the female is, the female's really tolerant. Now um, the female has orange eyes. The female has orange eyes, which means she's a, she's still a juvenile. She's not a full adult yet. But the, so this is her first time nesting. Well, I'm, 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 I, I don't know, like, if she can even make babies when she's this young because, 
like I said, I mean, it takes four years. Well, I mean, I didn't say it takes four years, but it takes four years for them to reach maturity. maturity. Ah. So, but, it, but if she's finding a mate, she must know that it's time. Ah. It's time to, to make babies and everything. Ah. Ah. We thought it was ah. Yeah, and the nest over there is also an osprey nest, too. Uh, okay. These are both ah. osprey nests. I wondered how, you know, one day we were walking, we didn't even look up, and we walk every day, mm -hmm. and my husband or whatever, help, and help. We saw the sticks, and we're like, where'd the sticks come from? <laughs> the and sticks you know, are no, from? There's no tree, and then we looked up, and we saw the nest. Yeah, the male is kind of doing a very clumsy job with the sticks. Um, you know, but he's he's really good at collecting sticks, though. Like, he doesn't even he doesn't even land on the trees to get them. He just grabs it and goes as he's flying. I've never seen any bird do that before. Really? This oh. is the first one. Yeah, so he's really, really skilled. Like, he's, he's really a pro at this. So he's much older than the female. And the female's not even doing anything. She just stands there and watches as the male does all the work. Wow, isn't that interesting? But the you female usually, usually what the female does is don't try to get. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> don't try to stay too close for too long. <laughs> so that's an osprey nest right there. Wait, hey Pierce, how are you doing? Good. I've been working overtime at Amazon over the past two weeks now. This is my only day that I get to film anything. So it's quite beautiful, huh? There's an osprey nest right up there. So that's a young osprey. She's got orange eyes. They're orange until they turn to adult, then they turn yellow. Yeah. So I'm amazed that she's making a nest when she's that young. And uh, the nest is looking good. I mean, so far, so far it's looking kind of like that nest in a way. So yeah, she, she, or, or sorry, he, the, the male, the male osprey was collecting all the branches while the female just stood there and watched. Like she was making the male do all the work. Like the man was doing all the work and the, oh, she was acting lazy. So all females are like that, right? <laughs> yeah, even people are like that. Yeah, they make the man do all the work. <laughs> okay. See ya. She's making Like, even people are like that, too. Like... Yeah, so really exciting. So they've, they've built this nest up. They've, they've added all the... Um, They've added all the Spanish moss to it. Let me zoom out so I can show you way quick. So I'm just going to zoom out just a little bit. And I know you can't see it very well from this angle. But if I zoom out, you can see it. So take a look at all that on top. So they actually layer it with the Spanish moss on top. Rather than putting it on the bottom. So the idea behind using Spanish moss on top is that the wind doesn't knock the sticks out. Because the, mo the, the Spanish moss kind of acts like a carpet in a way. And it kind of secures the sticks together. It's a lot better when sticks are together, together on the top because the wind is going to knock the top sticks off first. So I did actually put some Spanish moss on the grass over there. I'm sure probably the male did grab it at some point. Is it really necessary for me to go that close? I would say so. Hey, look at the talons there. Mmm, yeah, I love you. I totally love you. Yes. I'm totally in love with an osprey. Is that shameful to admit? Is it shameful to admit that I'm in love with an osprey? I love you. Such nice eyes. And such nice plumage. Such soft feathers. 
Uh, I can just kind of imagine what her feathers feel like. I can just imagine it. I know, right? But I can only see them right now. That's really all I can do. Um, so yeah, so the other osprey female's making calls, but this one's not making calls, so that must mean that she's not hungry. So the male must be really good at hunting, um, at, you know, fishing. Well, fishing, hunting, you know, hunting for fish. So she's not hungry, she's doing just fine. So I'm not sure what's up with the other osprey and why the male hasn't delivered anything to her yet. These osprey are doing just fine. Is it invisible or not? Yeah, it would sure be something if he came down to grab that fish, huh? Oh, hang on, let me uh, zoom out here. Uh, yeah, so I placed the fish right next to me. I know putting it right next to me is not going to help. If you want it, you can come down and grab it if you want. Yeah, if she did that, that would be absolutely amazing. There's a fish right there. Right there. Right there. Right there, see it? I'm pointing. Point, 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 point. There's the fish, there's the fish, there's the fish. See, no calls, see, no, no hunger calls or nothing. See, she's not hungry for this fish. What if I close my eyes? Will we take the fish then? Alright, I'm closing my eyes. I'm sort of peeking with my eyes a little bit. Fishy, fishy, fishy. There's a fishy on the ground. On the grass. Right here. Right there. A fish. It's actually really easy for you to come down on this fish. It is so easy. You just swoop down the grass, come right next to me. That would be funny. Yeah, that would never happen. I just have to wait till she turns her head. That way I can take the fish away. So I'm only like 20 feet away from the pole. I mean, trying to 
go near the pole just seems kind of pointless in a way. I mean, I did do it with the other osprey nest when the females around back. Oh no, no, don't, don't, no, no. Okay, and she's, she went into the nest. Alright. I don't think she can see me. <laughs> oh. Hang on a second. Ugh. I ripped a hole in the, the bag a little bit. That's typical. Typical of me to do. Okay, so the osprey is in the nest. Oh man, you're... You make things so hard on me, Osprey. Why don't you just stay right there? Oh, man, that was a bad win. Oh, man. Ooh. Oh, man. Why are you trying to hide from me, Osprey? I'm your friend. No need to hide. It's okay. It's all right, Osprey. Hmm. You know, because if you want, I can go film those osprey over there. See those osprey in that nest? Right there? That osprey? Yeah, I can go film them instead of you. Alright, alright, yeah. Have it your way. Okay, alright. Not working out. Mm. I thought you wanted to hang out with me. I thought you wanted to hang out with me, Osprey. Aww. You're such a cute Osprey. I love you. I really love you. Hmm. Can I see her from this side, maybe? Uh... No, she's just acting stubborn. <sighs> okay, so maybe she's protecting herself from this, maybe because of something else, maybe? Okay, so we can at least do this. Alright, I can at least take a look at these Osprey here. Or should I say this Osprey? Ooh. It's not so great. Yeah, the power lines is kind of in the way. All right, well, I think I'm going to go to the other park and film the other osprey, and then what I'll do is I'll come back. I'll come back to this park. So I don't want to wait too late because, uh, well, because, you know, then it'll start getting dark, you know. All right, so I'm just going to go right to the car. Oh, and as you can see, there's a vulture up on that power pole right there. I'm not going to bother filming that bird, though. And nor am I going to film that vulture right there. So yeah, two vultures. There be a lot of vultures around here. Like, everywhere. Um, Alright, well. I don't know where the male osprey is. I'm thinking maybe of going on a search for that osprey. I'm just thinking what I should do. Hmm. Oh, and there's also these little birds that are up on this, this, this fence right here. How close do you think he'll let me get to him? Hmm. And we already found the answer. <laughs> yep. Uh, uh, yeah, Frey just wants to stay in her nest for now. Yeah, probably just because of the wind. Uh, the wind's just a little too intense for right now. And I don't think she's really used to this kind of wind. Because normally when they migrate, they migrate to South America where there's like barely any wind. Alright, well, and I can't really see the osprey even. Wait a minute, is she... Wait a minute, is she on... Let's see, is she on that light stand right there? No, she's not on a light stand. She's in the nest. She's actually in the nest. Most likely she's laying in the 
nest. I'm pretty sure of it. So I'm not going to be able to see her at all, even from a distance. Shoot. Dang it. Okay, I'm going. All right, I'll be back. I'll be back very soon.